Right, so just a quick tutorial how to use the Connect V2. So you've got the Windows, that's a Windows button in the corner. So you can open the Connect Studio by pressing there, or put a little icon on the, on the tray at the bottom. So if you press it once, the Connect Studio will open. If you press it again, it'll put it into the background and you've got a little blue line underneath. So if you, uh, if you double tap it, it'll bring it back on. And if you tap it again, it'll hide it. So if you swipe from the left, this is useful. You can see what applications you've got open because if you've got two applications that are using Connect, then you'll get a blank screen and you can close any additional ones down there. So we'll start again. So we've got Connect open. So there's a little plugs that are apart there. If you press that, then what will happen is you'll get plug-in screen come on. So you've got different types of plugins. So we've got a, a gray ramp. So if I put it onto gray ramp, you'll see that as I move my hand towards the sensor, the dip, different depths will change in color scale. So if you are too close to anything, you'll just get a black screen so just moving down a few of these, obviously colour ramp, exactly the same, but you've just got the colour settings instead. And then when you're like close as the sensor wants you to be, it'll black out. The next is the infrared plugin. So make sure the cross is at the top. So there's me. So if it's in a dark room, you'll actually uh, be able to see. So that's the matrix of infrared pixels. Um, not really played around with these. So if we put an ampli amplification factor in. So if we put um, five in there, then obviously the exposure will be a lot greater. So if you need to see um, more, if you're in a, a larger room, then you can bump that setting up. So we'll just pop that down back to the default of um, one. And then you'll see back to normal. Right, moving down. So if we put um, body index That'll basically be a dark screen and then if it does I'll try and get it to do this when it locks on onto a body I don't know if I can actually get clear view let's move the camera to the side right then you get um, Body pop up. So when it recognises a body, then I'll actually pick that up. And lock onto it. So we'll put it onto colour. So that's just uh, obviously your colour camera. High res, a lot better quality than the V1. Scrolling down, so just a few more settings there. You've got bodies and hands, so whether you get your blocks on your hands or the dots. And then you've got the audio, I've actually got the audio turned down at the minute. Um, otherwise I'd be getting a bit of feedback, as you can see there. So I'll just keep that turned down. So basically, that's the Connect Studio. We've also got Fast, which we put over there in the folder. Um, so you can open it up two ways. 
it can actually go into a folder and then you've got fast i usually hold it down and then press open so fast will open up as before you have to press connect and then it's a bit difficult to see in this light try and make that screen a bit bigger then you'll get to see me uh, it's quite good resolution and the gray scales are, are a lot nicer than on the connect so it's a decent app to use one benefit people use on this is mirror mode so as you can see there that's actually flipped that screen round so it's a uh, like true to what you're looking at so all in all that's a, a rundown of the, the two applications and how they work any questions just give me a shout cheers